from the official television station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. Illinois has had all week to think about what Brad Underwood said after its loss to Penn State. He said they needed leadership. It was a perfect time to see if those words sunk in today against Alabama A&M. And we get the first starting lineup change of the year. Jaden Epps in for RJ Melendez, who dealing with a little bit of a shoulder issue. Nothing more than a uh, bruised bone, I should say. Early in the first half, as we get into the highlights, fast break for the Illini. Terrence Shannon Jr. flying down the lane. He goes reverse layup. Illinois off and running. They're up 9-3 to three at that point. Epps doing some distribution now. Lobs it up for Dane Danger on the alley-oop. Only four points tonight for Danger. Illinois leads going into halftime 36-19. And Illinois football honored at this one. Newly announced defensive coordinator Aaron Henry speaking to the crowd as well. 13 minutes left in the second half. Illinois on a dry spell. Only with one bucket in the second, Bulldogs' Messiah Thompson with the short jumper there. Alabama A&M back in the game, trailing only by one after they hit the free throws. But Illinois needs a spark, and they get it with Matthew Mile. Euro step in the lane and the foul on the quick possession. And suddenly, momentum has flipped. Shots beginning to fall now. Meyer to Coleman Hawkins from beyond the arc, and it's good. Hawkins with nine points on the night. Bulldogs with the ball now, but the pass picked off by Meyer. He's going the other way. He flips it down the court and makes the easy layup. He was 9 of 12 from the field in this one. The offense flowing nicely now. Ty Rogers in the lane out to Shannon. He nails the three. Shannon, 18 points tonight. And now the exclamation point. Don't leave your feet. Coleman Hawkins will make you pay for it. Drives right past the defender and throws that one down. And that would do it. Illinois wins it 68 to 47. A big win, even if it was close at times. Meyer leads the Illini with 21 points in this one. But WCIA 3's Bryce B. Bent has more on why the Illini still aren't happy after the W. After getting chewed out last week for lack of effort by Illinois head coach Brad Underwood, the energy was high at the start of the game for the Illini against Alabama A&M. Underwood said he wanted to see the leader stepping up this week and says he likes what he saw in that aspect. Yeah, we got great leadership from, from a couple freshmen today. And, uh, you know, I thought we got great leadership from Matthew. I mean, Matt got after it in a timeout. I mean, Matt was ranting and raving at a time. I haven't seen that kind of emotion from Matthew Meyer in my time here. And then he just, you know, changes his pulse. And, and that's the stuff that, that, that we have to have. That's leadership, to, to hold everybody accountable to a certain standard. But while leaders are arising for the Illini, Matthew Meyer was upset after the game, even after putting the team on his back at the end of the game to pull the Illini out of a one-point lead to win by over 20. I was pretty upset in the huddle, and I let everybody know, and um, I just tried to play as hard as I could, and that was about it. We got a lot to figure out internally uh, between the players and the coaches. I think it's going to be something that we're going to have to figure out in practice. Personally, I like what I saw. He was pretty good at the end of the game. He needs to be a guy that's a leader. He needs to be a guy that has been there. He's a guy that uh, is trying to, to win. He's a guy that's very competitive. You know, I'm sure he was frustrated. It's stuff we can fix, obviously, but... Once again, we're we're a team, and we know we can be one of the best teams in the country. We just gotta we just gotta live up to it and, and play better. Illinois will have a non-conference test as they head to St. Louis next week for the Bragg and Rights game against Missouri. Reporting for your Illini Nation, I'm Bryce Beeman, WCIA 3 Sports. Thanks, Bryce. Here's the matchup in that one coming up later this week on Thursday in St. Louis. Illinois trying to keep the trophy and win back-to-back -back in the series for the first time since 2017. And for more on today's win, listen to the WCIA 3-in-1 podcast where Bryce and I break it down. It can be found wherever you download your podcasts.